Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Ayatullah with another new video. As we have started Tekla Structural Design Tutorial Series, and this is its lesson 10. And in our previous 9 video, I have uh, discussed about many things about Tekla Structural Designer, and we have completed a model, and also we have applied it load on it. So, if you are new to our channel, you can watch that video it's already given in description. I mean the link are given in description and if you're a civil engineer then don't forget to subscribe to our channel I think that will be very helpful for you because there we will always try to update any basic topic about related to civil engineering and also the most important software that required for a civil engineer so we always try to update channel. so first of all we will open our previous model that is our previous model we have uh worked i mean we are working on this model so if i show you from here i applied it load here like that this is the for live load and this for uh, dead load so in your previous video i have shown you that how we'll apply that load okay and here is for live load or anything so in this video I'll show that how we'll apply win load. Okay, so to apply win load in take less structural design software, we have to create the wall. Okay, wall panel in every side of that structure. Okay, so to uh, create that, to create wall, just we have to go here model then we have to keep uh, click uh, I mean we have to draw wall panel so from here that there, there are row panel and they have wall panel okay so we'll create wall panel just click here okay just click on wall panel and then you have to click on every panel I mean at which direction I mean at uh, which level to which level earthquake will work we have to draw that so suppose this, this, that will be our first point and then this is our second point and now this is our third point this is the fourth point and this is the again last point just see here if you see here just they have a wall like that so they have a wall of total building after that will again we'll click here then we'll click here then we'll click here and we'll again click here and lastly we'll go here just see that there have also a wall now we'll rotate our model so how to rotate uh, just click your right mouse right uh, click the right side of your mouse then rotate it according to requirement and if you want to move that then just press your scrolling button then move it after that click here again and click that point again click that point and click that point and click that point okay so again move uh, move that just click here just click here click here and click here and again go here so we have successfully draw our draw panel okay so in this way we can draw our draw panel or suppose uh, you are using a building like a uh, triangular shape like that so you can provide I mean you can provide the Roof, I mean you can use roof panel so they have another option so click to create support you can click that point okay so to provide support according to your panel so by I mean where you need to provide support then you can click here so from here you are seeing that the everything are fixed 
and also if you need to uh, free then also you can click here okay so as we have already provided our fixed support I will do not do anything here after that as we have done that then we'll press escape then everything is clear now so we have a draw a draw plan now we'll click here to add win load we'll go here load then load case and from here we'll click add and from here we'll give WL win load and from here we'll just select wind okay then press okay after that when we have done that then we have to go here wind wizard okay wind wizard and before that from here select that uh, WL wind load then go here wind wizard so from here there are two option procedure method rigid building of wall height okay rigid, rigid building of wall height ASCE according to code ASC and SEI structural engineering institute okay 710 and they have low rise building less than 60 feet so as our building height is 55 feet so we'll select that okay and then click here next after that you have to give her the value so geometry height to ground level ignore wind below I mean suppose uh, if you want to ignore the wind spread uh, from the ground level I mean suppose from that point to that point you want to ignore your wind pressure you can also give it so uh, as from that point to that point this is ground floor and mm, that portion will be underground so here th there are no wind pressure okay so here uh, they have no wind pressure available here so we'll give it suppose uh, 10 feet okay so 10 feet the main row of height so now our main row of height is 54 2 feet so here you can give a row of angle if they have row, ang row of angle orientation longitudinal direction and transfer dimension so they have all value then press next also you can change here if you need that then press next after that basic wind speed you have to give her basic wind speed in mile per hour okay in mile per hour so you have to give her basic wind speed suppose I will give her according to my country suppose 80 mile per hour 80 mile per hour basic wind speed then directionality factor KD you will found that value in your code okay so I'm just giving it as default and um, you have to give this value according to code and uh, I'll show you later about according to ASCE uh, ASC 5 ASC 10 and also ASCE I mean uh, also uh, about uh, ACI code and BNBC according to BNBC code I'll show you about that how will work for wind load now here is a enclosure classification which types of building that is partially open partially enclosed or enclosed as uh, we are working as a residential building so uh, we know that for residential building it's enclosed by every side I mean enclosed from every side so we'll select enclosed then ground elevation above sea level here ground elevation above sea level as um, we are if you have I mean if you're building a near sea level then you have to give her value otherwise no need to give that value okay otherwise no need to give that value after that ground elevation factor okay it's take it as default one now in here uh, everything will be same and also you can change that top top graphic features including 2d and uh, 2d read read it so 3d hill from here you can see that uh, change that according to design code okay so in your design code you will find that value exposure category so from here you can select bcd exposure category which types of exposure category 
uh, undergo your building and then here the topographic feature suppose if you um, select anywhere you just have to give her value from your code okay so I think uh, this is very good features and I will consider that they have no topographic features I mean uh, our building are in a ground level so you can uh, select anyone from uh, I mean anything from here after that go next and from here just is also okay okay is the use velocity pressure it's also same so after that click finish so we have also provided them then click basic uh, I mean so basic wind spread and we have uh, done everything now now we'll just so uh, actually have done so we have successfully applied our wind load so in this way you can uh, apply your wind load okay I think it's clear to you that how we will apply wind load on your uh, structure and in our next video I'll show you that how we'll apply earthquake load on our structure and after that we'll go for analysis and after that we'll show that how we'll design that and also we'll find out the reinforcement detailing so if you think that that's helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also in next I will try to discuss about diff with different types of code because of the earthquake load and wind load are the main features in load pattern that follow different types of I mean different code for that so I will try to complete that and also mm, that tutorial are available in etaps already I have uploaded the link are given in description so thank you thank you very much and if you think that that is helpful for you like our video comment uh, leave a comment and also share our video so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video